Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hot Coins. Good to see you all this evening. Very nice to have you here. We do have some early people. I saw in here that there was Damien Scott, the Hefty Stacker, Life with Laura Le <laughs> Laura Michaels, Dicky Moore, and Dicky said he's stuck at work. He's gonna miss it, but lots of love to everyone and misses everybody. Oh, no worries, Dicky. Things happen, my friend. It's okay. Um, I see Armando from the Vault is here as well as Ethel Benikoff and Life with Laura Michaels. Good to see you here. Vicky C of the Fam and Juan Jimenez. How you doing, Juan? Good to see Silver Badger in the house. What's up, Bill Gibson? Yes, guys, Bill Gibson, the man, the myth, the Bill legend. The legend named Bill, the legend of Bills, he is Bill. <laughs> but uh, we have some cool stuff this evening, everybody. So very cool to have you here. We're going to get flowing in just a little bit. Hey, Rich H., how you doing this evening? Good to see you. Sharon Bliss in the house all the way from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Good stuff. And uh, Wooster in the building as well. Everybody getting their way into the show. What's up, George Kimball? How you doing today, George? Good to see Jose is here as well. Like I said, we have some pretty cool stuff. And we have a 90% silver giveaway for the chat this evening. We're going to be giving away a 1964 Kennedy half dollar absolutely free just for being here and having fun Noah's coins Noah um, if you go look at your PayPal you will be a happy man I did get back to you and that was a little while ago probably a couple hours probably like um, here you know what I can tell you what time uh, did, 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 it says 2.30 roughly on my PayPal which my PayPal doesn't have the most accurate time log I don't know if it's using West Coast or whatnot but it always seems to be a little bit earlier than mine but it did send it back to you um, a good couple hours ago so you should check your PayPal my friend and uh, no worries about that I'm glad that you got your stuff uh, Armando I don't have any American S Silver Eagles this evening my friend um, I do have some different um, collectible silvers, I have some Engelhards, I have Geiger, I have a hand porn one here, right here, from the Colonel himself, this thing weighs 3.1 ounces, and this one I actually paid to have made, this wasn't a gift or a trade, this was actually something that, that wasn't, wasn't that cheap, <laughs> yeah, oh, no worries at all, Noah, no worries at all, my friend, hold on, guys, <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me for that. Hey, Quackers! How you doing, Quackers? We got Quackers in the house. Good to see Quackers. And I know I saw Silver Seeker here a second ago. I thought I did. I know. Oh, I see Silver Badger here. But, um, anyways, guys, very good to have you here. Hope you guys are having a great evening. If you're in cold weather, that you're staying warm. There's actually ice on the buildings and whatnot in my area, which is kind of a bummer. <laughs> what do you do? Hey, Lincoln Central Coins in the house. Quackers, the Penny Passport. Uh, funny you ask. This is something that um, when, is actually kind of cool. I was sent to me, and... Um, the person thought that maybe everybody would get a kick out of it, so I figured um, it's got stuff from everything. From right here, we have um, the Jungle Book, Shere Khan, Catalina Island, California, the Texas Alamo Circus Circus in Las Vegas, the Benjamin Franklin National Consti Constitution Center, uh, Man's Chinese Theater, Colorado Rockies baseball team, um, Yosemite, Yosemite, a couple other ones. Uh, Legoland, California. 
more Yosemite, and then the M&M uh, store, Knott's Berry Farm, Legoland again, and then Walt Disney World. So these are little pennies that have been rolled out, and they're souvenirs from different places and other places that I couldn't read. You know what? I should be able to figure those out if I just use the loop. This one here says My Lucky Penny has a four-leaf clover on it. Um, let's see here. There's a couple that I couldn't read off the beginning. Uh, this one says Ketchikan, Alaska. Then we also have San Diego. And uh, let's see here. It says Tiger. Oh, the San Diego Zoo. So that's pretty cool. Um, so just kind of a cool little souvenir penny book that people, some people are into. I figured I'd put it up pretty cheap. If it goes, it goes. If not, hey, what do you do? <laughs> uh, A.G. Price says he's going to send me one for the album. Hey, Ethel Benikoff, good to see you, Ethel. Um, Ethel, I do have a package for you. It has just a dime and a quarter, I think, in it. So I was waiting to see um, <clears throat> if you wanted me to still send that out right away or to wait just a little bit because, you know, it's not that much, but either way, I, I want to make sure that you get everything that I owe you. Um, hey, what's up, the Hefty Stacker? How you doing, Hefty Stacker? Good to see you. But, um, guys, we also have this beautiful, check this out. This is a 1938 Denver, and it's a Buffalo Head nickel. And this thing is awesome. The the camera doesn't really give the toning the justice that it needs, but look at the detail in this, guys. 1938, this thing, I mean, you can see some of the toning right there. There's only one tiny little issue with it, and I want to show you right here on the edge of the, on the rim of the coin, there's a little bitty ding right there. And I think there's one other little ding on the rim right there. But other than that, the thing is really, really amazing. Watch the reverse of this thing is also a little bit off, uh, off struck, just a little bit. I mean, not off struck, rotated. I don't know why I said. Or actually, you know what? Huh. Uh, I guess I grabbed the wrong one. This isn't the one with the rotated die. Oh, my mistake. But anyways, so check this out. Look at the detailing in this, guys. This thing is a high, high MS coin. Very, very, very nice. So we're going to be auctioning this off. And I am going to make sure that that doesn't say rotated die. I don't know why this one got marked that way, guys. My apologies. But... This is still a really, really nice buffalo to have. Then we have a 1950 Denver. And this thing is pretty cool, in pretty decent condition, actually. Um, there it is, 1950. The back could be a little bit nicer, but there's the D right there. It's hard to see with these little bitty lights um, on here, but it's right there. Excuse my dirty little nail. But that's a 1950 Denver. It's a very, very cool. And uh, let's see here. A film coming out about what climb? Let's see. Did I miss something? El Capitan. Oh, yeah. That's crazy to go up there with no gear. Very, very crazy. <laughs> All right, Damian Scott. No worries, but good to have everybody here. Um the Buffalo Armando is a 1938, I believe. Let me look at it again. I think it's a 38 Denver. Yeah, 1938. And you can see the Denver when I can get it out of the little light. There it is right there. It's hard to see with the way that how bright this light is in, in these kind of uh, coin holders. I wish it was a little bit, uh, the light would be different. There we go. You can see the D better with the light off, actually. But it's a 38D, and it's really, really nicely toned. So that's one of the um, 
more numismatic things that we were going to do. And then for the currency tonight, I have a number of $2 red seals. And I'm going to do this as a lot. I think that'd be a lot, uh, a lot of fun. Hey, what's up, Whitney Balls? How you doing, Whitney? Look out. She just wanted to pop in and say hi from Chunky Butt. I'm doing good. Thank you very much. Um, let's see here. Refocus. Are you talking about on the coin scope? Let me see if there's something going on here. I thought it was a little out of there. That's a little better, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Let's see if that let's see if that lines up better this time, guys. Still dealing a little bit with that cold of mine. That's not too bad actually, but look at that, guys. This is probably one of the nicest looking buffaloes. Definitely something that would be nice to have in your collection. Very, very cool. <laughs> All right. So, want to make sure we give everybody a little bit of time to get in, and then we will get started. Um, like I said, we also have a poured silver item. That's this one right here from the Colonel himself. This is a three ounce K4 hand poured. 3.9 silver. It's got the 3 there. And uh, it has some really nice rippling on the back. Very, very cool. This was made by the Colonel. Some of you guys may know him. I paid a pretty penny for this thing a while back. So I figured it's about time for it to have a new life. And then, guys, we have some of the Engelhards. And these are really cool. There we go. One ounce Ingle Hards. These are the ones from 1980. These are very, very uh, sought after and command a pretty decent premium. What's going on, the Hydroconomist? How you doing this evening? Good to have you here, my friend. What is new? VC Coins Nevada, a.k.a. my buddy Ben in the house. Good to have you guys here. But, uh... For those that just got in a little bit ago, we are going to be giving away a 1964 Kennedy 90% silver half absolutely free to the chat using the Bad Danny deck of cards because that is the best way to go using something cool from the coin family that was given out a while back, and we use those all the time. Um, so, yeah. Give me just a second here. I was pretty sure... I. I could have sworn I saw Silver Seeker in the house here, but maybe he walked away for a minute. Hey, what's up, Shibby Rob? How you doing, Shibby Rob? Good to see you. And uh, that's weird. Something's going on with my... Oh, there we go. Okie Rogue! How you doing tonight, Oki? Good to see you. And Sherry Nelson in the house. Right on, guys. I'm glad everybody's able to make it and getting in here. Very, very cool. We got Silver Badger also in the house. And uh, Coin Shop and Auction. How you doing? Good to see you. Welcome to the show. Very, very cool to see new faces here at, all the time. So, guys, you know what? I want to start off fun. I figured the Penny Passport would be something cool. Started off kind of small. It's a, uh, you know, watch this. You'll see. So, we're going to say the Penny Passport. And it has, let me count how many of them is in here. There's one, two, three. And then there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 24, 25, 26, 27. So there's 28 pennies from different places around the United States. We're going to say the opening bid is $1. And this is just to be goofy. $1.28. <laughs> All righty. So let's start off with the penny passport at a dollar twenty-eight. I figured it'd be fun to see what happens. 
but it's good to have everybody here. I love doing this stuff from time to time so I get to hang out with you guys a little bit more and see the actual chat a little easier than I normally do. You know how it is. Sometimes it takes me quite a while to be able to see everything. Look at that. Life with Laura Michaels at $3. Quackers AG Price says he wants it for 5 Look out. We're going to have a bidding war. There are some cool stuff, and it is a cool little book. You know, there's Disney World, um, the, the Alamo, Hollywood, Yosemite. Lots of pretty cool stuff. Hey, ECP in the house. How you doing, ECP? Good to have you here, my friend. Glad you could make the show. All right, so we have AG Price. AG Price is at 6 bucks. AG Price likes the penny book. Oops, I just wrote his name down. <laughs> hey, Tasmania Silver Stacker, we're bidding on a penny passport book. It's where a uh, passport book from around the United States, people pay 50 cents and they add a penny to it. There's one from Walt Disney World. There's the Alamo, Circus Circus, Shaka, uh, is it Shabra Khan from the Jungle Book, uh, Catalina Island in California. There's a San Diego Zoo. There's Ketchikan, Alaska, and the M&M Town in Las Vegas, Knott's Berry Farm, kind of cool stuff. All righty. Oh no worries, Quacker. You know what? You do what you want. It's it's no problem at all. If you're able to participate, you're able to participate, and if not, no stress whatsoever. Oh look at that, guys! Tasmania Silver Stacker says, "Oh cool, right?" And Bill Gibson hits it with a $10 bill. Seems like Bill really likes this penny passport, guys. Look out. Bill means business. <laughs> oh, look at that, guys. Life with Laura Michaels jumps up there with a $10.50 bid. <clears throat> we have a bidding war, guys. We have a bidding war. Oh, Bill Gibson with 12. Look at this. Bill means some serious business, guys. Look out. All righty, guys. Uh-oh. Laura Michaels jumps up with a quarter. Hey, Wallace Family Coins and Travels. How you doing, Wallace? Bill Gibson hits it with 14. Look out. Uh-oh, Laura Michaels with 15. We got a bidding war for the pennies, guys. It's a bidding war. Look out. It's going to be like me being chased by a little penny book. <laughs> Damien Scott says, who wants it more? Oh, man. All right, Vicky C is trying to see, do we have more than 15? Oh, Bill Gibson says 17. Look out. Wallace family, doing pretty well. I got your email. I'm trying to figure out. I think you were asking me to to sell something for you, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, hey, Silver Nitrate in the house. What's up, Silver Nitrate? Silver Nitrate, I got a 3-ounce uh, K4. Yes, from the Colonel. Hey, CM Silver in the house. How you doing, CM Silver? Good to have you here. Oh, right now we are bidding on, check this out, Silver Nitrate. These are little souvenir pennies. It's a book of 28 of them from everything from Walt Disney World to Yosemite to San Diego Zoo, uh, the Shaba Khan from the Jungle Book, just a lot of different ones from different places. Kind of a cool thing. Seems like everybody's pretty happy. They seem to like them. <laughs> very, very cool. Good to have CM Silver here. 
Yeah, silver nitrate right now. The bid's at 18 bucks. Bill Gibson's been pretty serious about it. It's a it's a bidding war between him and Laura Michaels. Uh oh, look out! Laura Michaels at 1950. And excuse my snibbles, guys. I am still at the tail end of this cold. Really, really bummed. Give me one second, guys. I'm just checking something out. Holy cow, look at that Bill Gibson at 20 bucks. Hey, Peter Bose, how you doing? All right, guys, I apologize. I just had to take care of something really, really quick. And All right, so we have Bill Gibson's at $20 so far, guys, for the Penny Passport. 28 pennies from across the United States. Pretty cool. And they all seem to be a little bit older. And uh, very, very cool. Alrighty. Hey, uh, Hydroconomist, no problem, brother. Good to have you here. Oh, uh, I bet you name your Yarte. I bet you somebody's done that before. I really, I would not be surprised. You know, it's. It, I, I was thinking that the other day. I go wonder what's been lost in here. There was also some. Um, like gangster type guys that were doing things like taking big giant amounts of pennies and melting them down. You wonder how many pennies they destroyed over time, you know, which is really sad. Holy cow, guys, sold to Bill Gibson for $20. Bill Gibson, the proud owner of the Penny Passport with all of its cool little pennies. And Bill Gibson, you know what I was thinking about you, Bill? I have something I want you to check out at some point um, because it's right up your alley and you'd probably be the only person I know that could tell me what it's worth, but I'll, I'll wait for a different time for that, but I just wanted to kind of have that in my mind to remember. Hopefully this fits in here. and uh, uh, Yeah, it does. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a bigger one for Bill, but Bill Gibson, thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate that. All right, so Bill Gibson, and that was 20 bucks. All right, so the next thing up, what's up, Silverback Stacker? What's going on, Silverback? Yeah, it has been a long time, man. Holy cow. Good to see Silverback Stacker in the house. Um, guys, if you're new to the stream and the uh Tonight, we're going to be giving away a 1964 sil uh, 90% silver Kennedy half, absolutely free. So that is going to one person. You never know. We might add something to it. Uh, you just you just never know. <laughs> right on. So silver backstacker in the house. Long time no see, man. Hope you're doing well, brother. All right. So, guys, the next thing up that, for, that I wanted to do is... I've always been very fair on a lot of things, and one thing I wanted some of you guys to do is have a shot at starting out on some currency. So what I have here is five $2 red seals, all varying conditions. Um, none of them are garbage grade. They do, some of them have a little bit of creasing, like this one has a couple creases and whatnot, but they're relatively crisp. Some of them are a little bit nicer than others. This one's probably the nicest one. 
Um, but I want to do this in a lot. There's going to be five of them total. And uh, honestly, you'd probably spend a good at least no less than six bucks a piece, if not more, um, especially on the better conditioned ones. Um, like this one here and uh, this one here, these two would go for probably a good eight to ten or, or more, while these would all be six to eight. But anyways, so we're going to do a one lot thing here. So we have one, two, three, four, five of these bad boys. And check this out. You know how I like to do it here. I always start off low and see where it goes. So we have five, 1963. $2 bills. Give me just one second. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. So very, very cool. All is one now. Somebody with a pair of sunglasses saying all is one now. Right on. All right. So starting opening bid on this lot is going to be, we'll say, 12 bucks, And that's 5 1963 And look at that. Armando Martinez jumps up, and he says 17 Good to have CM Silver here. CM, I hope on this next one, oh, we got a really cool um, five red silver seals. Uh, we got some really cool stuff coming up on the next uh, Sunday stream, guys. We're going to add more of the envelopes and going to be giving away even more silver. It's going to be a lot of fun. Last Sunday, guys, CM Silver killed it. I mean, he really, really kicked butt. All right, so right now we have CM Silver at $25 for the five, yes, the five $2 red notes. And I am going to go find a little holder for these. What's up, Big Bank, Lil Bank? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. If you're a female and I said, man, I apologize, but... That's just the way I talk. Uh, but welcome to the show. Good to see you here. Good to have people in the house. All right. So very, very cool. So we are right now at $25 for the red sealed $2 notes. Vicky C is the... Moderator, auctioneer, extraordinaire. If you do not already know Vicky C of the fam, she's awesome. A very, very, very talented and cool lady. <clears throat> and right now, since I don't have a, a plastic thing for the $2 bills, I'm going to put them in this thing here soon. All right. All right, Big Bang, Little Bank is a dude. Right on. Cool. I'm doing great, man. Having a good night here. Doing an auction. Hanging out with friends. Very, very cool. Armando from the vault. Hey, Armando. Um, I, I meant to get back to you, Armando. I actually need to talk to you because I am interested in that. I just need to get the money together. And then once I do, I can... Uh, I can do that because I didn't expect it to be five, but that's a cool, a cool thing. And once I can can afford it, I will step up and grab that from you, my friend. Which should be in the very near future. What's up, Silver Seeker? Silver Seeker in the house here. Very, very cool. Okay, guys. So C M Silver with a twenty-five dollar win on the two dollar red seals. Right on, my friend. Not bad at all, brother. He did well. And uh, I'm going to put these in here. And like I said, those are in varying uh, condition. CM Silver. 
Yeah, I will add that to see him silver stuff. We got the hefty stacker in the house. Good to have some new faces here. Very, very cool. Armando from the vault. Yeah, my friend, you can, uh, you, if you like something, you know, you bid, my friend, you bid. <laughs> All righty. So let's see here. The next thing we're going to do is let's do a little piece of silver. How about this? Um, we're going to do the 2016 Canadian Superman. And now this one doesn't have any milk spots or any issues. I'm going to put it under the cam for you real quick so you guys can see it. Let me show you. There's no milk spotting. It's in its little case. And I'm pretty sure all these little bitty outer scratches are the case itself. I don't take coins out of the little holders. Um, so, but anyways, this is a $5 2016 Canadian Superman. And we're going to start the bidding off like I always do, a little bit lower than uh, what the value is, of course, to stimulate some bidding and have some fun between good friends. All right, so this is a 2016 Superman starting bid. All right, here we go. <laughs> the quacking quackerness. That's funny. Hey, Corey W. in the house. Good to see you, Corey W. And don't forget, guys, we are going to be doing a silver giveaway for the chat. And, oh, yeah, guys, that is also four nines silver. That is not three. That is a four nine silver coin. So that is a decent decent one for sure Damien Scott I think they only make it like that because of the way that it is for collectorship same thing with uh, Silver Eagles they say one dollar on them but you really wouldn't spend a Silver Eagle that way you know that would be horrible <laughs> all right so we have AG price at 16 Silver Seeker says he's in at 17 Look out, Silver Seeker in the mix. He is bidding on the Super Oki Rogue with 18. We got some bidding action going on, folks. Some bidding action for the 2016 Canadian Superman. No milk spotting issues. Silver Nitrate says he likes it for 19. Armando says he'll take it for 20. Look out. We do have a start of a little bidding war here, guys. And there you go. Seeker with the more direct answer than what I myself had for you guys. And thank you, Seeker. I appreciate that. We have Oki Rogue at $21. Are we going to hear 22 You just never know what you're going to do when you got an auction. Huh. All right. <laughs> Damien Scott, no doubt. I would love the same thing to happen. Vicky C is asking, do we have more than 21 for it? She's seeing if we're going to get 22, but you just never know. And, uh, guys, make sure you're taking care of each other. It's an important thing to do. And don't forget, we have a three ounce. This is from the Colonel himself, guys. K4, hand-poured, really nice, chunky, three-ounce silver. That'll be up for grabs this evening. We'll see what happens with that. And I'm going to start it out at a very fair price. I like to see a, a little bit of fun when we're doing this little action back and forth. So far, we've had some pretty cool stuff. Hey, no problem, Quackers. No problem at all. 
And like I said, if you guys can see tonight, we don't have as big of a format as we normally do, so this will probably be a shorter show. But I'm still definitely going to give something away. Like I said, that 1964 90% is being given away. We might add something else. You just never know. But we will see. Oh, look at that, guys. Silver Nitrate jumps in at $22 for the Superman. Look out. Silver Nitrate means business, folks. And Silver Nitrate, these are in the mix as well, my friend, the Inglehards. And uh, I actually managed to get a little bit more that are be coming soon and be added into the Sunday night things. We're going to be having a lot of fun with Sunday night. And the envelopes, you guys know how that works. We're going to add a good amount, but then we're going to also add Silver more silver being given away. So we're going to have a lot more fun with the envelopes being added to Sunday night boxes. As a matter of fact, this time they gave me a box just like Seeker's box. Um, I have one of them that's like long. And you open it and the uh, rolls are actually yellow instead of black. Uh, Coin and Ring Guy, it's a 2016 $5 Canadian silver ounce. Four nines, five... Fine silver. What's up, the stacking kid? Cirque Gold. How you doing, Circled? Really cool to have some new faces in the house watching the show. Tonight we're doing an auction, as you can see. Yeah, Tasmania, this is a... <laughs> you know what, Tasmania, come to think of, think of it, right here I have the, uh, I have the Black Panther and that one is on the mix as well. Very nice. All right, so we have the last call at 22. Go into you know who. It will be the man, the myth, the legend. Silver Nitro. <laughs> All right, so 22 silver nitrate. Very, very cool. Thank you, silver nitrate. Oh, okay, Rick changed his name to Circ Gold. Cool. Circulated Gold. I actually like that. All right, so silver nitrate with the wind. Thank you, silver nitrate. You rock, my friend. Um. Silver Nitrate's always been awesome. Very, very supportive of the stream. And a very fair gentleman. If if somebody, if he ever asks you to do a trade, um, I would do it anytime. He's a really nice dude. And like I said, very, very fair. Uh, pretty much everybody in here is fair. But, but Silver Nitrate, you're the man. All right, so here we go. This is what we're going to give it away to the chat at the end of the stream, the 1964. So the next thing up to bid, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do, let's go with the coin. We're going to go with the 1950, right there, 1950. It's a Denver. You can see the Denver right there. It's not in too bad a shape. It could be nicer, but then again, this is a key date nickel. And there wasn't very many made. Only like I think three million was the highest number. I could, you know what? Let me double check my figures just in case I'm making a mistake. But I'm pretty sure it was three point something million for this nickel. And uh, let's see here, 1950 Denver. Oh, 2.6 million guys. So actually, even less than I thought. Yes, this is a key date nickel, Damian Scott. 1950D is the one to get in the Jefferson nickel. Uh, only two, a little over two million made. So here we go. One nine fifty. Oops. One nine fifty D Jefferson. And watch this, guys. Starting bid, you won't believe it, $4. <laughs> We're going to make this fun. Anybody that knows what that coin's worth, 
they'll definitely pay at least four or five bucks, if not more. Because, uh, hey, it's a 1950D. <laughs> I like having a little fun, guys. A little fun. All right. So, yeah, only 2.6 million of those made. And I think in the, I can give you in the red book, it tells you for the lowest grade do, 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 that they have it at. Um, MS60 is 14. This isn't in an MS60. That's not that. But still not a bad nickel. One to fill a hole, that's for sure. <laughs> But I am working on a deal with somebody to get some a little bit nicer than this. But if you look at this, there's really no major problems with the fields. It's just got a lot of patina on it. There's still a lot of detail in the hair and the face and the cheekbones and everything. So not too bad. Uh oh, look at that, guys. Okie Rogue has got it up to $10 already. Yep, and there it is. There's that D. Armando from the vault is at 12. Look out. We have some serious bidding going on, folks. But like I said, I am going to be getting my hands on some really nice condition ones here pretty soon uh, for 1950 Denver's. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do a auction for them or I just may um, do them as a giveaway at some point. But really cool to have circulated gold here. If you guys do not know him, that was his real name's or prior name was Rick Perlet or Paletti. Very, very cool. Look at that, guys. We have Oki Rogue at 15 bucks for the 1950D. You never know what's gonna happen. Alright, so Armando from the vault says he's out. But like I said, guys, I am probably going to get my hands on some more of those. So uh, it's just about when I can get this person uh, to actually commit to it. <laughs> but that will be pretty cool. And I can't wait to be able to, to show you them because I saw some pictures and they're really nice. All right, so Oki Road going once at 15. Do we hear 1525? If not, we are still alive and we're doing very, very well. Cannot complain. And uh, thank you very much to everybody that's here tonight and your support. You guys are awesome. It means a lot to me. All right, so Vicky C, it's going twice. Do we hear anything more than 15 for the 1950 Denver Key Date Nickel? Dun, 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 <laughs> you guys know me. I like being a little silly here and there. Try to make you guys laugh a little bit while we're getting to the last call on the nickel. And it is sold to Oki Rogue for $15. Thank you very much, Oki Rogue. Alrighty. Very, very cool. And if you are somebody that has uh, donated to the last. Um, stream when paying at the end of the night you don't owe the extra shipping um, I only do that if you aren't a part of the normal Sunday streams because I do shipping uh, I'll ship it out tomorrow or the next day for you guys basically and add it that way to make it much easier thank you very very much to Oki Road Silver Badger in the house. 
And while it's family coins and travel, I, uh, I, like I said before, I got your email, and I'm just trying to figure out how to make that work, my friend, because um, I don't really want to end up having to, all of a sudden, i got to try to do it for a bunch of people. It's it's hard to track down a lot of stuff and, and do all this, but uh, we try. Um, and we'll see if we can reach an agreement at some point. You just never know. A a AG Price, I looked, and they did not have AMARC bars, and it really, really bummed me out. I really honestly was upset about no AMARCs. But I do have a Geiger. We got the Geiger Rectangle in the house. I love these bars. These things are cool, guys. So here's the Geiger. There's a cool little house. And then on this side is where it says Geiger Edimentals, Edimentale Cyber. So it's pure silver, 999. Very, very cool. And Ben, a.k.a. VC Coins, my brother himself, says squish that like button. <laughs> squeeze that little thing. Just squeeze it. Squeeze that little button. All right. So we're going to say one ounce. Oops. Okay, that was weird. One ounce Geiger All right, it should come back. I think it's coming back. I hope did I come back guys? All right, so there we go. We have the one ounce Geiger. Starting at 15, AG Price says he likes it for 16. Silver Badger's at 18. CM Silver jumps in just a little bit past Silver Badger, but we got another bid. We have a bidding war. AG Price at 20. Look out, guys. AG Price in the mix. That gentleman knows what he likes. His name is The General. Right. Well, his family understand that, but I mean, is it? We'll, we'll talk about it more. Definitely. <laughs> All right. Now we have CM Silver at 21. Armando from the Vault at 22. Look out, guys. The Geiger Rectangle. Get them while they're hot. <laughs> uh, Silver Badger, I believe his old name, well, yeah, I remember his old name, Rick Parletti, or Parletti. If I uh, end up saying it before he can respond, I don't mean to be rude. All right, so we have Armando from the Vault at 22. We're looking to see, is there a bid for 23? Is there a bid at 23 on the Geiger? The Geiger. Das Geiger. <laughs> hey, Ink Man, 78. How you doing, man? Good to see you, bro. How you been? What is new, man? Dude, this weather is messed up, Ink Man. You know? I think it's really not not right that we got to freeze. I got ice on my house, brother. It's unreal. But really, really cool. Okay, we have CM Silver. It's a rectangle on the uh, the Geiger there, Silver Nitrate. Boom, rectangle, my brother. I am going to get my hands on some squares in the future here soon as well. I, I like the squares just as much. All right, so we have CM Silvers at 23. Do we hear 23.50 going once? Ah, oh, Ink Man, sorry to hear that, man. Phones aren't cheap like they used to be.
I remember where they used to have those wars basically between the phone companies. You could go in and get pretty much any phone you wanted and pick and choose what you wanted as far as your plan. And, and then all of a sudden they just, nope, everything's expensive and iPhone-ish. <laughs> all right, so we have Armando from the Vault, $24. Yeah, CM Silver, I like the square better as well. I really do. I think the square's got a little bit more appeal with the um, the security piece in it. Yeah, no doubt. Ink, man, I hope it gets better, brother. But yeah, the last couple days have really been bad on the weather, man. I was uh, walking to my car, and I literally had to walk like a little turtle because the ice on the ground, I was afraid I was going to slip and fall on my back and you know how bad that can be ice uh on concrete man you, your head your back you're talking broken bones <laughs> nobody wants that all righty <clears throat> so let's see here ink man said oh the video stopped working on your phone oh man that's a bummer all right so we have armando from the vault at 24 dollars going once And, uh, guys, if you have not gotten your comments in, make sure you get them in tonight. Tonight is the last night for the February 2019 Subscriber Appreciation Giveaway. And we have some cool stuff being given away in that. We also have another 1950 Denver that's being given away in that giveaway. Um, kind of a theme this month. But really, really cool. Uh, one of the cool things we have tonight, guys, is a 3.1 ounce K4 mint. This is from the man himself, the Colonel. And the only reason I'm going to get rid of this one is because I purchased this one. This wasn't a trade. I actually bought this one. Gary Henderson, right now I'm living in Oklahoma, brother. Norman, Oklahoma, to be exact. And uh, so right now we have the one ounce Geiger last call going. 900 dollars. Ouch, man. That's oh wow, brother. That is that's insane. Inkman 78. You, you just you just made that guy's rent. <laughs> All right, so Armando. From the vault. Thank you very much, Armando. Much appreciated. Name Yarte, thank you very, very much for being here. I really appreciate having you as part of the show. You're always welcome to hang out. You never are obligated. You know, you don't have to buy stuff. That's why we always have a free giveaway for the chat. Because, hey, it's what's cool and what's right. <laughs> All right, so... That was the Geiger one ounce going to the man, the myth himself, Armando Martinez. So, guys, check it out. I'm going to do another silver item up next. And uh, let's do this. How about we do... Well, thank you, y Yarte. Um, I know I'm not saying it right, am I? So here we have a... Provident Metals, Aztec Dragon, and we are going to do like we always do. Uh, Corey W., no, I am not ready for that, my friend. So this is a one ounce silver dragon. Opening bid is going to be, again, like I always do. I started her at start it low and see where it goes. So this is the one ounce Aztec Dragon. <laughs> yeah, chasing him, that'd be crazy. I, I just, I couldn't do it. What's up, Mel's Coin Corner? Good to see you, Mel. Man, 
it's always amazing how, how you see some people that are, are quiet. So we got Corey W. at 20. Good to have Mel's coin here, guys. All right, so Mel's coins jumped up to 20. Life with Laura Michaels says she wants a 20. Armando from the vault at 22. Look out. Well, Silver Badger, if you ever come down this way, man, I'll have to have a uh, have a lunch with you or something, my buddy. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so Life with Laura Michaels for 24 on the Aztec Dragon. Do we hear more than 24? Mel's coin, very nice to see you, bro. Good to see a lot of everybody here. I'm, I'm wondering where the Gilson clan is, but we're thinking about you, Gilsons. The Inkman 78, bro, the, the weather is just ridiculous. The ice is scary, man. The ice really scary, scares the heck out of me. All right, so Corey W. says he's out of the mix. <clears throat> cool. Uh, you know what? Circulated gold, now that you asked about a Morgan. Uh, you know, I don't... Oh, man. Nope, it's not readily grabbable I don't have any proof sets tonight but you know what I will in the future I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get some some sets here for the next one I do these every other week how you doing novice stacker how you doing good to have you here um actually that's novice I'm sure novice stacker but uh that would be way cool silver badger and um, circulated gold I will definitely be getting some proof sets and I will be getting some Morgans and stuff in stock here um, probably in the next couple weeks I got a buddy out here that I've started uh, talking to that seems like he's gonna have some nice ones for a decent price so it'll make it fun for you guys as well because I want to make sure that you know everybody has a good time alrighty some novice stacker in the house and it looks like going twice so far to Laura Michaels with the Aztec dragon Laura really likes the dragons guys and very very appreciative Laura you you rock my friend you rock anytime circulated gold yeah ink man I I live pretty close to what I do so I'm lucky in that aspect, but it was not fun. You barely touch your brakes and your car was just like, <laughs> you know, not fun at all. You definitely, you got to take the ice serious because it will hurt you. All right, so it looks like this is probably going to end up going to life with Laura. Yep, sold to life with Laura Michaels. Thank you very much, Laura. Very, very nice of Laura. Hey, AU Rebel! How you doing, AU Rebel? Welcome to the show. Good to see you, my friend. All right. So the very next item up for bed, guys, we're going to go with... Let's do this. Let's do one of the angle Englehard one-ouncers, guys. And this is from the 1981 uh, lot... These are pretty cool. At least I think these are. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm just messing with you guys. All right, so here we go. So the one ounce Englehard, and these things are really cool. It's not often that I can get my hands on them, but I got lucky, and I did get some. I'm going to get a couple more before too long. But for now, this is what I can do. All right, so here we go. One ounce Ingle hard bar watch this guys I'm gonna 
like you always know, I'm going to start it low and see where we go. Starting bid on the Ingohard, 15 bucks. Look at that. Armando from the vault jumps up to 22 Armando is on a serious bid. <laughs> All righty, guys. If you look these things up on eBay, they are very pricey. Inglehards are one of the more pricey ones out there. It's kind of actually shocking how much money they can command. It, it's like, oh, look at that. Vicky C of the fam with a $30 bid on the Inglehard. You guys know how Vicky is. When she wants something, she goes for it. Look at that. Quacker says, whoa, Vicky C with 30. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Vicky C actually got something really cool coming to her from her niece and nephews. Hey, hey, Candy Hall. How you doing, Candy? Nice to have you here. Welcome to the show. Wow. Very cool. All right. So we... Uh, the serial number on this one here, and I hope I'm not, I hope I'm, I could be wrong then, huh? If I'm wrong, I apologize, but let's see here. Here's the serial number. Uh, FB39164. This came out of the same uh, group that I had that you saw the other day, silver, uh, silver nitrate. <clears throat> so let's see here. Let me look at this closer. It says FB39164. All righty. Very, very cool. We have Candy Hall in the house with Oki Rogue. George Kimball is here as well. How you doing, George Kimball? AU Rebel says, ooh, we've got some bronchitis. That's not fun, my friend. All right. Hey, King's Coins in the house. Silver Nitrate, if I got that wrong at all, please let me know, my friend. I'd appreciate that because when it comes to these bars, I, these are the three that I showed in the video uh, the other day. I'm hoping that I didn't get the wrong, wrong ones. I'd be sad. <laughs> Appalachian stack, and yeah, it was actually a Geiger rectangle. But we are going to get some Geiger squares here again in the near future. Very, very nice. So silver nitrate, can you let me know, my friend? Cool. Thank you, my brother. You had me worried. I was like, man, I hope this, this research isn't bad. <laughs> All right. So right now we have Vicky C at 30. And it's last call. The hammer's going to drop, guys. But the good news is we have an extra one of these Inglehard bars. So if you didn't get a chance on this one, you get one more chance on the next one. And we are still giving a silver giveaway tonight. A 1964 90% Kennedy half is going absolutely free to the chat. Sold to Vicky C of the fam. Very cool, Vicky C. Matter of fact, Vicky has something really cool coming to her from her from her like I said, from her niece and nephew. Alright, so that's Vicky C for 30. Thank you very, very much, Vicky C. Next item up for grabs, guys. And look, we're getting pretty quick. This one's gonna be a quick one tonight, but very, very cool. Uh we're gonna do Let's do this. Let's do the hand-poured kernel 
This is 3.16 ounce. So this is a K4 hand poured silver. 3.16 ounces. And this was done by the Colonel himself. This thing is really cool. I really like this bar quite a bit. But since this wasn't a gift, it, w it was actually a uh, something I bought. I'm going to put it up and see what we get for it, guys. So here we go. And i definitely going to start low and see where it happens. AU Rebel, no problem, my friend. If you need to get some rest and you're not feeling good, I appreciate that you came in, my brother. I really do. All right. <laughs> silver nitrate. Well, silver nitrate, we still have one more left. I'm going to do starting bid, 45 bucks. It's a 3.16 K4 bar. All right, look at that. We have Silver Badger jumping in at 50. Anybody that knows anything about the Colonel, the guy kicks butt, and this is a really cool bar. And I have some other items from the Colonel that I'm going to always keep, but this is something I purchased, so I'm going to. Pass it on to a new home. Look at that, guys. We have CM Silver with 55. Candy Hall had jumped in there at 52. Candy Hall now at 60. We got Candy Hall in the mix, guys. Look out. We got some serious bidding going on for the K4 3.16 ounce hand poured silver square. And uh, this thing is really chunky, guys. This thing weighs a lot. I'm going to miss it. <laughs> All right, so we have Candy Hall at 66. Do we hear 65, says Vicky C of the fam. You never know where we're going to go with these guys. But like I was saying earlier, make sure you get over to the uh, videos that we're doing our giveaways. If you haven't gotten your um, votes in yet, or not your votes, your, your, your comments in. I want to make sure you get those so that we can get you in there for the drawing and uh, you can win one of the three really cool prizes. We also have a really big... Uh, wow, look at that, guys. Candy Hall with a $65 bid. Look out. She means business. Um, we have a really cool three-way channel coming up. Silver Seeker announced that yesterday on his stream, I believe. And... Uh, that's going to be really cool. Me, him, and Rob's Finds Treasure. That'll be coming out in a couple days. Look, speak of the man. There he is, Silver Seeker in the casa. So we have Candy Hall right now at 65 bucks, And uh, very cool to have Candy here. Her first time ever on one of my streams. And she's participating. I really, really appreciate that, Candy. That means very much. It really means a lot to me. And uh, sorry, pausing a little bit. I have to breathe weird a little bit. I got still got a little bit of the sniffles. <laughs> All right, so we have Vicky C of the fam says we are at 65. Do we hear 66? You never know what's going to happen. Going to take a look at something here real quick. Well, I did not know that uh did not know that Rob comes on on uh, Thursdays at all. Holy cow. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> well, Rob finds treasures on right now that makes sense why the numbers are where they're at. That guy's got a pretty pretty healthy audience. Uh uh, this Kennedy half here, right here, circulated gold, is for the industry giveaway. We do that absolutely free for the chat room. 
All right, so we have Candy at sixty-five dollars going twice. Do we hear any more? Ah, this is the first time he's done it Thursday. Well, dang it, Rob. <laughs> it's all good. We're doing different formats. I'm selling stuff, and he's searching rolls. It's all good. But, hey, I can't wait until this Sunday, guys, when we do the search. They gave me a box of uh, halves that look like the style that Seeker goes through, and we're also going to do... Um, Oh, special stream because he's late tomorrow. That's cool. I have no hard feelings. That guy is way cool, guys. Um, sold to Candy Hall for $65. Thank you very much, Candy. I really appreciate that. That is very kind of you, and I hope you will enjoy your piece. You got a decent deal in my mind as well. And I hope you show up on the Sundays, Candy. We have a new format that we're going to be doing. And we're adding... Um, we have envelopes that we use. And we are going to up the amount of silver being given away every stream by a good amount. We're going to be having a lot of fun with that. All right, guys. So we don't have very many items left. We have one, two, three, four, five things to go. And then we'll be doing the giveaway and calling it a a wrap um, so the next item up for bid is going to be this right here this is the Welsh dragon this is the second dragon in the series that Provident Metals has put out via I believe it's California Mint but I'm not a hundred percent sure but either way very very cool so here we go one ounce Welsh dragon Starting bid will be like I always do. You guys know how I am. I start low, and you guys figure it out. So here we go. $15 is the opening bid on the Welsh Dragon. Uh, quackers, what I would do, Quackers, is try to get things that other people don't have yet. Um, that's one of the things Seeker and I try to do. You can't really get away from having the same stuff. But generic rounds, like Vicky C is saying, generic rounds can go pretty well for you. All right, so we're now at live at Armando from the Vault at twenty-two. Mel's coin was there. Try life with Laura Michaels twenty and fifty. <laughs> yeah, CM Silver. We're gonna we're gonna up it, my friend. You'll see. Uh, everybody, we, we had a little vote on it the last time. People said that they liked the envelopes, so we're going to add more envelopes to the boxes. And since we're going to add more envelopes to the boxes, we're going to add more silver. We're going to put copper in there still, but we're also going to put some 90% uh, junk, a.k.a. constitutional, into the program as well. So it's going to be a really cool change for the format of what we do. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. I think you'll you'll enjoy it because we'll have a big difference in what we do. Uh, quackers, I do use a, a copper rounds um, in my stuff. I do uh, ones that I think are very collectible. I give away the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, which actually, if you look up the ones I've given away, they've actually grown a pretty nice premium um, quickly. So that's why when I see a nice series, I start doing that and adding to it uh, because you just never know. Look at that, guys. We have Armando from the Vault at 24. Inkman 78, yes, the Chinese New Year envelopes. Um, it's going to continue, but we're going to – you'll see what happens. I think you guys will get a kick out of it. This will be the last week because it is February, the month that Chinese New Year's happens. So this will be the last week that the envelopes will be red. But going forward after that, you're going to see what we do. I think it's going to be pretty fun. All righty. So we have Life with Laura Michaels is now at $25.
Look out, guys. We have a bidding war between Laura Michaels and Armando from the vault. But yeah, quackers, do things that you like. Things that appeal to you. And if you especially find things that other people haven't seen yet, that makes it pretty cool. It makes people want to get over to your stream and, and do stuff. And, you know, one of these days, Quackers, if I get a chance, I will uh, catch your stream. I've just normally got stuff going on. i got a lot of things on my plate right now. All right, so this is the Welsh Dragon, guys. Do we hear 26? We have Life with Laura Michaels at 25. Where is it going to end? You just never know. But remember, we are going to be giving away the 1964 Kennedy half absolutely free. <laughs> Inkman78, yeah, we are going to change that up, my friend. It's going to be really cool. We're going to do um, multiple silvers, and we're going to add some extra stuff to it. Um. You know what I mean by multiple I mean multiple silver ounces in the extra envelopes as well as other items. Um, it's going to be really cool. I just it, it'd be much easier to see it in person versus trying to explain it um, because the way the format will work out. But I think you guys will appreciate it. I mean I know you guys like ounces of silver. <laughs> I know I do. Alrighty, so. Wow, guys, we've only been on for an hour and 16 minutes. It seems like it's gone really, really fast. And we only have four items left. And uh, then we will be doing the giveaway. And I will probably add something small. On hey, Full Push Metals! Good to see you, Full Push. Man, I've been thinking about you. I uh, saw you in Seekers last night. And then the other day, I was wondering where Full Push has been. Have you been... Uh, Looking for a new job, or what's new with you, my friend? So we have somebody here. Let's see here. You know what? I don't have a problem. Let's, uh, Dickie Mo. That's funny. Anyways, so congrats to uh, Life with Laura Michaels with the $25 Welsh Dragon. Thank you very much, Laura. Laura Michaels. And you guys know me, normally I have a little bit more energy than I do tonight, but I still am at the tail end of this cold, guys. This cold is wanting to hold on to me, and what do you do, you know? <laughs> yeah, everybody got on it that somehow it got un un unshown and then shown again. Um, you know, there's nothing you can do about trolls, guys. They're just going to come. What's it matter? You know, maybe they just having a bad day or whatnot. Oh, thank, thank you very much. much. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I uh, hit the wrong button there. <laughs> hey, Silver Chicken E! How you doing, Silver Chicken E? Good to have you here. Um, very, very cool. Yes, we do have mods in the house, and I do appreciate my mods very, very much. It's the mod war, says Vicky C. All right, so the next item up to bid is going to be the Year of the Boar, one ounce silver round. This is one mean looking little pig here, guys. Very, very cool. So I did not like the Year of the Pig stuff. That stuff did not look good, but the Year of the Boar came out really nice. And we're going to do it like we always do, guys. You know how we are. We start these off. Uh, let's see here. Year of the Boar. One ounce silver. Oops. All right, guys. Starting bid. 15 bucks on the Year of the Boar. And we know... That'd be cool if they threw some into silver into circulation silver nitrate, but I don't think that's gonna happen. 
Um, I think because it's getting such a buzz that a lot of people are going to get on it really quick. <laughs> Eggman, yes, you did get one of the boys. Look at that. We got Scott R. in the bid. What's up, Scott R.? Good to see you, man. Um, but Silver Nitrate, you never know. Maybe a collector who busts open some, some will throw, out, throw some out there just to mess with people. But I don't think they'll go in uh, big numbers, you know. But you just never know. All right, Circulated Gold. Get out there, brother. Have a great day, my friend. All right, so we have Scott R. at 19. And, uh, guys, I'm hoping the next time I get on here, I'll have a lot more energy. I am don't like this cold. <laughs> But the voice is sounding a little better, so that that's that's a good thing. All right, so we have the Year of the Boar one ounce silver round. This is the front. Here's the reverse. Year of the Boar fine nine 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 silver, very very cool. Oh, okay, silver nitrate that'd be cool. Well, you know, if they start putting those in circulation, you get those at your bank, people are going to be, there's going to be a run, a run on the West Point ones, because the 2017 with the P on the penny, man, I, I have a box of those, and I know that selling them just little by little is, is surprising that um, people still have such a demand for them, so this will be the first time there's ever a West Point penny, yeah, I'm, I, I, I think if they do throw it into circulation, it'll be interesting to see what happens. All right, so the year of the boy looks like we're stuck at 19 so far with Scott R. Scott R. is going once at 19 on the year of the boy. It's a silver ounce. Good to have people here, new faces. We even had Candy Hall here for a while. And I wanted to say again, thank you to Candy for coming in and hanging out. And uh, hopefully she's still here. I don't know. Sometimes this uh, thing does not tell me who's in the room properly. I'll look at where it says participants from time to time, and it changes even though somebody's still watching. <laughs> but anyways, all right, so... Right now, it looks like last call. It looks like Scott R. is going to get a pretty good deal on the year of the boar. Did Sil Where is Silver at right now? Is Silver still up or did it go down a little bit? Uh, let's see here. Good old Silver. Hmm. Oh, Silver did go down a little bit. Look at that. Scott R. for 19 bucks. All right, thank you very much, Scott R. I appreciate that, brother. Candy Haw says she is here. <laughs> very cool, Candy. Thank you. Um, let's see, guys. So we got three more items up to bid. I'm going to put this in an envelope for Scott R. Scott, thank you again, brother, for the continued support. Scott R. All righty. So check this out, guys. The next item up for bid, and this one is very, very cool. This is the Black Panther Marvel. This is a really, really nice 2018. It's got the Queen Elizabeth, $1. Tavalu, unreal. I think the West Point Penny Mint, West Point Mint Penny is a cool, cool idea, and it hopefully might get some more people into uh, the whole thing. You know, Scott R. Huh? Hey, Karen Saint Singh, how you doing, Karen? I 
I'm confused. That Scott, are you saying you don't want the boar? Oh, uh, here, you know what? I'll put it up here for you a little better, guys. There is the Black Panther. I don't have the best system for this. There we go. Black Panther. This thing is awesome. It is does have the marbles on the front and then the queen on the other side. Very, very cool. All right, so this is the Black Panther. And guys, if you look at the Black Panthers, they are not cheap at all. All right. Hey, Manny Hooney Stacka. Good to see you, brother. All right, so here we go. Black Panther coin starting bid. And guys, these Black Panthers, if you look them up, go, go see. They're not cheap at all. But we're going to start it low and see where it goes. Here we go. Black Panther starting bid. 15 bucks. All right. We have Okie Rogue at 25 on the Black Panther. Scott R at 30. East Coast Prospecting said 16. Okie Rogue says 31. Silver Nitrate saying, hey, Manny Hooney Stacker. Very cool to have Manny Hooney. Guys, if you do not know who Manny Hooney Stacker is, get over to his stream. Give him some love. Please let him know, though, that Raven Hot Coin sent you over there because... The guy is really cool. I think he's a very, very nice gentleman. Uh, Oki Rogue at thirty-two fifty, and this is for the Black Panther. All righty. So coming up next, guys, we only have two more items, and then we will be doing the giveaway. And I'm actually probably going to add something else to the giveaway because tonight's been really cool. Had a lot of fun so far, and I'm glad you guys are here. Yeah, many hoonies in the in Hawaii, lucky guy. <laughs> yeah, man. But many hoonie, he gave me this bird that is awesome, guys. Just unbelievably real. It actually balances and everything. I need to get it out and put it in the background. Um, like I have other stuff, but I'm going to set up a different area, I think, for filming pretty soon, guys. AG Price! Yeah, no doubt. Uh, guys, I'm telling you, Manny Hooney is probably the best that I've ever seen. Oh, Raven. Wow, Scott, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Hey, guys, everybody, say happy birthday to Robert Gray. Guys, everybody, today is Robert's birthday, so please remember to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Robert. Happy birthday to you. Wow, thank you very, very much, Scott, man. That's awesome, brother. That really means a lot. Matter of fact, Scott, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to put that as the giveaway on Sunday for the chat. If that's okay with Scott R., I want to pay that forward just a little bit. And I want to uh, announce now that since he's going to give me the board, that I'm going to pay that forward. And that will be the Sunday night stream giveaway. And uh, we'll be able to give the people in the chat a one-ounce round, courtesy of Scott R. And I'm going to put it right here by the computer so that I don't forget. So thank you very, very much, Scott R. That is very cool. Okie Rogue with a $32 win. Thank you very much, Okie Rogue. 
32 bucks, and she gets the Black Panther. So I'm going to find her envelope and add that to it. And uh, <clears throat> if you had donated something this last Sunday, which I think Oki, yes, Oki Road did. Oki, you don't have to add the $3.50 for shipping because I will already be paying to ship something out to you. So no stress on that. Scott R., you're the man, brother. I, I trust you, and I really I appreciate it, man. That's really awesome of you. Very, very cool, my friend. Very cool. All righty. So, unreal, guys. Scott R., you kick serious butt, my friend. And, guys, again, this Sunday... That this one ounce round is going to go up for grabs, courtesy of Scott R. Oki Rogue says it was $32.50. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Oki Rogue. You, you rock. Thank you very much. All right, so the last two items up, guys. I'm going to do this Englehard, and then we're going to close it out with the really nice, nice-looking 1938 Okay, you kick butt. I appreciate it. So this is one of the 1981 Englehards. Silver nitrate. Confirmed it by looking up the serial numbers. These things are really cool, guys. So we have one left for tonight. One ounce. And uh, give me just a sec to put up here what we're going to start it at. One of the little ones is in the background is not happy, so I apologize for the extra noise, guys. Silver Badger, thank you very much for, for being here, brother. I appreciate that. Hey, Candy Hall, thank you very, very much for being here. Uh, we're just about to do the end of stream giveaway. Um, I wish you could have seen it, but hopefully, Candy, we see you in an upcoming uh, on the one on Sunday if you're able to make it, and definitely, hopefully, in uh, Silver Seekers as well. I'm going to try to be there at his stream on uh, this uh, this Saturday. So Silver Seeker stream and then mine on Sunday would be really cool to see you there. All right, so here we go. One ounce, Englehard. And I always start low, guys, because I think you guys know what's up. Uh-oh, Candy Hall says, locked and loaded. <laughs> Something's going on. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I will find out. All right, so we have all is one now at 26.50. All righty. What's up, Black Steel and Silver Numas, man? We have Armando from the vault at 24, but I think we had... Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, the animation, <laughs> hey, unreal, hey, Candy Hall, thank you again for being here, I really do appreciate it, all right, guys, so I'm not sure exactly where we're at in the bidding, um, Robert Gray, that, that should be fine for now, I have another, um, another uh, shipment of stuff coming through but I'm gonna end up using stuff anyway so you ship me what you want we'll figure it out I'm gonna end up using things no matter what I think all is one now had a bid in guys um, but I'm maybe it was an accident I'm not a hundred percent sure but very very cool to have some of the new faces here we're about to give away some stuff and you know what I'm going to be nice. I'm going to add a 40 percenter onto tonight's giveaway. So we're going to be giving away a 65, which is the more hard to get of the 40 percenters, and a 1964, which is very, very cool. All right, so we have All Is One now says that they're at $26.50. Do we hear 27 on the Englehard? Where is silver nitrate? <laughs> Alrighty. And guys, hoping to get this 
I, I cannot believe it. I'd start feeling better, and then I start getting a little stuffy again, you know. So I'm hoping that it changes soon. And uh, you guys, make sure, like I said before, get over and check out all the people that are doing uh, content, like Mindy Hooney Stacker does really, really awesome stuff, guys, as far as poured silver. He is a beast. And he pulls off stuff that I've never seen before. So we have all is one now at 2650 on the Engelhard. Do we hear 27? You never know. <laughs> Scott R with the beast maneuver. And Scott paid for it, guys. He really did. So when you see him around, please tell him thank you and uh, be kind. Silver Nitrate says it's too rich for me, Ravenhawk. <laughs> right on there, brother. Hey, you know what, bro? Uh, Silver Nitrate, you're an awesome dude. I really, really thought it was cool. Oh, Silver, Black, Silver, Steel, and Numismat. Yeah, here you go. This is the one ounce Engelhard. Hold on, let me get it out of the thing. That's what it looks like, my brother. There's only they made four hundred thousand of these in eighty one. But this is the Engelhard one ounce. They're very cool. Uh oh, look at that guy. Silver nitrate says twenty seven fifty. He he just jumps in there and adds to the mix, guys. Silver nitrate says, I'm gonna bid it up. I'm going to see what happens. Uh-oh. All is one now says that they are out. All is one. I still really appreciate that you participated, my friend. Very, very cool of you. Always nice to see new people. <laughs> Since he's already paying for shipping, <laughs> silver nitrate. Oh uh, man, There's, you guys are awesome. I really can't thank you enough for all the support, guys. You really, really do cool stuff. Unbelievable people. All righty, so let's see here. Oh, look at that, guys. CM Silver steps in at 28. CM says, wait a minute. I might want that Engelhard myself. <laughs> All righty, guys. But I'm telling you, if you've liked the way that we've done stuff before, this Sunday we're going to have some fun. I have some cool ideas, some cool, at least what I think it is, cool that, uh, we're going to be able to give away more silver. Woohoo! I like silver. Do you like silver? I like silver. <laughs> oh, silver nitrate at 29. We have a bidding war from silver nitrate and CM silver. Look out, guys. You never know what's going to happen. I remember when Bandit the Silver Hunter was in one of the auctions. He, man, he paid a hundred and something for that high five silver and 175 I think it was unreal very very cool we are almost there to the giveaway point guys and I'm actually not doing too bad as far as I know Rob finds treasure is on hey Dickie Morin yeah we're still on we're almost done though <clears throat> we only have one more coin after Right now, we're doing this uh, Engelhard bar. One ounce Engelhard right here. Boom. These are the ones. There's only 400,000 of these bad boys made. Engelhard. Uh-oh. CM Silver. Jump. Yeah, 155. You're very right, AG. I knew it was a lot. <laughs> Uh, Ethel the B Buffalo Nichols next. 
All right. Yeah, that really was silver nitrate. That thing was awesome. Um, honestly, like I uh, I miss that little high five hand. It was one of a kind. It had the polished front and the hammered back, and it was marked number one. So you're right. Very, very, very cool of of him to make that. And uh, I haven't seen high five around in quite a while. I need to see if he's making any videos and get back in touch with him at some point because he's a nice guy. He was always really cool to me. But it was an item that I that I bought. I, I wish I had uh, wish I could have traded for it. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have CM Silver at thirty. Somebody says they want to be taken with them. Full push medals. Oh, is telling Sherry Nelson you should take him with him. <laughs> there you go. It'll be full push medals and Sherry Nelson. Viva la Hawaii. Sherry, I got your email, by the way. All your stuff is packed away and ready to go. We'll go out with the next mail. So that is coming your way soon. Sherry had a really cool win recently, guys. I mean, she really hit it, hit it well. And that was on the Sunday night streams. The Sunday night industry giveaways have been getting really, really big. Congrats to CM Silver! For 30. All right. So CM Silver, thank you very much, brother. All right. So let me see here. I know I have CM. Yep. CM Silver has the $2 red seals and an ounce of Inglehard. All righty. So here we go. So the very last thing we have, guys, before we do the giveaway is going to be this. This thing is beautiful, guys. This is the 1938 Denver Buffalo. Look at the detail. This is a high MS coin. And all, the only issue it has is it has a little bitty ding right there in the in the edge of the rim. And one right there just below the 8. But other than that, this is a very beautiful, highly detailed, like like brand new coin, basically. And uh, watch the back of this, guys. This thing is a beauty. I really wish I could keep it. This also has some rainbow toning to it. There is the detail of the horn, everything. It's literally like whoever got this coin back in the day just put it away and never thought about it again. I mean, for a coin that is this age, this thing's beautiful. All right. So I am going to be... Pretty reasonable. Uh, Bill Gibson, I highly doubt it is. Um, you know, I've never really looked close at the D. I don't see it. Nope, I just see a D. It is just the D, my friend. So, oh yeah, Bill Gibson, uh, full push metals. That thing is more than a full horn. That thing is... That is just a gorgeous, not only is it a full horn, it is a full, very detailed horn. So, let's see here. I'm going to start out really low. Oops. All right, guys, and this is actually a really good deal to start out with. So here we go. Starting bid, 12 bucks. You can look up the coin and see what you think about it. Um, and I'm sorry about the rotated die thing. I had one that was rotated, and I do not know what happened to it. All right. Let's 
So we have Bill Gibson, Oki Rogue at 19. Um, you know what? Wow. I think that might just be shadowing. It would be way cool if it was doubled. Unreal. So we have Bill Gibson at 21. Or, or, I'm sorry, Okie Rogue at 21. Bill Gibson at 22. What's up there, Mr. Dirty Nichols? Okie Rogue at 23.50. Okie Rogue stepping up with the extra 50 cent bid. Just above Robert Gray. Robert Gray says 24. Look out. Okie Rogue at 25. And guys, I wish you could see the rainbow toning on this because this thing is very, very cool, guys. The detail is so pretty. And the rainbow ink goes kind of across the face. It's real, real uh, subtle. But that is probably one of the prettiest buffaloes I've seen in a long time alrighty so we have uh, Robert Gray jumped up to 28 black silver Numis man at 30 look out we have a bidding war guys Okie Rogue says she is out Robert Gray says 35 uh oh Robert Gray in the mix. Very, very cool. So Robert Gray, guys, at $35. Yeah, full push. It is very cool, man. I, I really wish I could hold on to this thing, but I, you know... Some things you got to let go of, and this is a very, very nice coin. It just has two little little rim nicks on it, or maybe there's a oh, there's a third tiny. Okay, so there's three little tiny rim nicks here. One, two, and three. I think it was in a holder at some point, probably. Oh, Ethel Benikoff with a forty dollar bid, guys. Look at that. Ethel came out of nowhere. With the $40 bid. Sherry Nelson says, that's a woohoo! <laughs> Holy cow, guys. Well, you know what? We got a nice quaint room tonight. Somebody's going to go home with a 40%er and a 90%er just for hanging out. So we have Ethel at 40 Robert Gray says 43. Look out, guys. Robert Gray is pretty serious about this nickel. But Ethel might say, I want that nickel more. <laughs> ECP says, dang. You never know. Oh, Ethel Benikoff with a $45 bid, guys. Unbelievable. Look at that. Ethel Benikoff with a $45 bid. All righty. Oh, Ethel at 47. Guys, we have a real bidding war going on between Ethel and Robert. And Ethel says she wants that. She really does. Robert Gray at 48. ECP says, holy cow. <laughs> dirty Nickel says it's not a dirty nickel. He passes. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, it's it thing looks like it's brand new. Hey, Jeremy B, what's up, brother? The auction's done really well, my friend. We are uh, right now in a bidding war. Ethel Benikoff at $49, folks. Look out. She is just, Ethel says, that's my nickel. That is my buffalo nickel, Robert. <laughs> All right. Yes, it is a bid war. And, guys, it is a beautiful, beautiful coin. I mean, look at this, guys. This thing. It just screams to go home. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh-oh. Ethel at 51. Ethel is not giving up, guys. Look out. Holy cannoli. I'm going to have to start saying, holy minestrone. So we have Ethel at 51, guys. We are in the middle of a true bidding war. Between two titans of the coin fam. Vicky C, her nails are hurting. It takes a lot to be a, a uh, person that does the modding and um, auctioneering. Oh, guys, Robert Gray has jumped up to $55, guys. Look at that. Silver Nitrate says nickels are hot right now. <laughs> yes, they are, my friend. All right, so you know what? I know what I'm going to do, guys. I know for the next auction, I'm going to get my hands on some more very... Oh, Ethel Benikoff with a $56 bet. Holy cow, we have a real bidding war going on. Ethel says that is my nickel. Dude, Robert Gray answers back with 57 Holy smokles. <laughs> hey, Robert Gray says 57. Ethel. Whew. Okay, guys. This is this is really Ethel Benikoff at 58. Karen St. Singh said this could go all night. You just never know. And uh, yeah, black steel. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be adding a lot more outside of just silver and some currency. Oh, guys, Ethel Benikoff at 58. Robert Gray is protesting, saying that he is out. Holy schnickolios! <laughs> Silver chickadee says Ethel versus Robert. I have my popcorn. Uh oh, but it looks like the bidding war. Robert Gray says they went his birthday print. Oh, Robert, I'm sorry, brother. Well, Robert, you know what, my friend? I'm going to have more auctions. I'm going to have some more stuff. But I know it's your birthday. Okay, guys, so... Make sure, again, everybody says happy birthday to Robert. I made sure to give him a, a little song earlier. I'm going to keep shuffling my cards. And, hey, Robert, it is your birthday, my friend, so please let me know on this deck. Do you want me to play them as is or to cut them? All right, sold to Ethel Benikoff for $58. Wow, guys. Very, very cool. Thank you very much, Ethel. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, that is just unreal, guys. All right. So, whew. That will be added to Ethel's stuff. And very cool, Ethel. We will get that sent out to you very soon. And guys, do not forget, earlier this evening, Scott R. donated this silver bore back to the channel. And on Sunday, for the three box thing, we're going to do this as, as a giveaway for the end of stream on Sunday. Hey, Jeff Cronkite, you finally made it. Right on, brother. All right, guys, so here we go. I'm just waiting to hear from Robert. 
um, if he wants me to play the deck as is or not. And this is for the end of stream giveaway, guys. The general and the mod boss are keeping it real. All right, so end of stream. I'm waiting to hear from Robert real quick. I'm not sure if you heard me or not. But, Robert, you let me know if you want this split to be uh, cut or played as is. Uh, Jeff Cronkite, I'm doing really well, my friend. Thank you for asking, brother. I appreciate that. And Unreal, you know what? I got cut off of live chat again. Ooh. All right, so he says play it as is. So Robert says play it. I'm going to pick a card. I think I found one already that calls my name. I'm going to put these right here. I'm going to take a nice little look. And I'm going to send this over to my mods. Give me just one second, guys. Uh, let's see here. Just bear with me. And, uh, I think he's still here. I gotta send this to three people, guys. All right, it's been sent, so pretty soon you should see something from the mods to be able to go, and then somebody will win two really cool prizes. Thank you, ECP. I appreciate that, brother. I try to make it fun. I try to give it to where, you know, I may risk losing a little bit of money. I may do, so, do well, but I always start low for you guys. I like it to be fair. All right, so just waiting for my mods to let me know that they received their stuff and said, all right, so it looks like a couple of them have got it. There you go. Make your bet, and good luck, guys. Holy cow, there were so many guesses at once. My screen just jumped. <laughs> that was amazing, guys. Wow. Alrighty. I have not seen it yet. Oh, amazing, guys. I've, I've seen everything but this one. <laughs> Very cool. It is not the Joker, I can tell you that much. All right, guys. Somebody's going to eventually get it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I just saw it from the one and only. And, and he got smart. He just started going up the ladder. <laughs> All right. I, I think this kid's won once before. He and his brother are forced to be reckoned with. There it is, guys. The three of hearts. It was the three of hearts. And I'm pretty sure it was Jose. Vicky C is confirming. Ben and Dirty Nickel. Mr. Dirty Nickels are asking people to stop. Yeah, Robert, it does that after a while. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, YouTube only lets, if you're not a mod, it only lets you talk so many times. Uh, per minute and yeah guys I had, that's what I had I had Jose myself I'm waiting for Vicky C to confirm one way or another we'll get an answer by CVC coin saying it yep uh, Jose, yeah, make sure you send me your address again, buddy, just in case. 
It never hurts to do that. But guys, I really, really want to say thank you to everybody that was here tonight. First, I want to say thank you to everybody that, that bought something. So, first of all, Bill Gibson, CM Silver, Silver Nitrate, Oki Rogue, Armando Martinez, Laura Michaels, Vicky C., Candy Hall, Laura Michaels, Scott R., Oki Rogue, CM Silver, and Ethel Bannerkoff. Very, very cool. And then all you people that were here tonight hanging out and just having some fun. I appreciate every last one of you. I'm going to go down the list of people that were sitting here and guessing. Let me see who is here. We have... We'll start off with dun, 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 Silver Nitrate, Fulls Bush Metals, Jose Wooster, Oki Rogue, Jeremy B, Mel's Coin Corner, AG Price, Inkman 78, Silver Chicken, Sherry Nelson, Ethel Benikoff, Black Silver Numis Man, Armando from the Vault, Robert Gray, Mel's Coin Corners, Karen St. Singh, ECP, The Hefty Stacker, Mel's Coin Corner again, John R. 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 Wolf in the house, Inkman78, Dickie Morin, Bill Gibson, Jeremy B. If I missed anybody, I completely... Oh, all is one now. If I missed anybody, I apologize. But guys, it is always good to have you here. It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun to be here. Oh, Leon Peters. How you doing, Leon? It looks like you just missed it. Oh, that's a bummer, my friend. But, guys, we will be back on Sunday. We have three boxes that we're going to go through. And we're adding some new cool stuff to the envelopes. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun with that. Make sure, like always, guys, to take care of one another. Support the streams out there. Help them grow. And like always, I want to say, oh, thank you to all my moderators. AG Price, VC Coins Nevada, Silver Badger, Silver Seeker, my family the one the 